This morning took an unexpected turn. Well, it was a little bit expected because we're actually at the doctor right now with Tiana for the walking clinic. Um, she has an ear infection um, and a big lump behind her ear and it started on Friday night, of course, when the doctor was closed. So now it's Monday morning. So we're going to the walking clinic to let them check it out because Tiana's never had an ear infection before. And this has really been bothering her. Yes. Ready? Yes. I'm glad you're in good spirits at least. Okay, come on, let's go. Mm -hmm. go so they can look at your ear. And then they have like the puppy jacket stuff on the back. We're in the exam room now. We're waiting for the doctor to come check Tiana out, and she's washing her hands for the 30th time. Do you like washing your hands? Very dirty. Your hands are really dirty? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll update you guys after with what they say. No phones. No phones. No phones, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it also says no phones when the doctor's in the room, so we're gonna follow the rules. We're out of the doctor now and we got some answers. Tiana has an ear infection, <coughs> which we kind of already knew. Um, and they prescribed antibiotics for it. So we're actually at Kroger right now, waiting for the medicine to be ready so we can run in and grab it. I think we're gonna grab some fruit too. This is Tiana's first ear infection and the doctor said the reason she probably got it is because she had that virus like two weeks ago where she was sick with a cough and a fever and everything. Well, she got better from that. And then three nights ago, she started complaining of her ear hurting. Um, well, two nights ago. And so the doctor said that after a virus, it's kind of common that their ear canals can get swollen and that can cause like the fluid not to move and bacteria to build up. So she has a bacterial infection secondary to her viral infection. This poor girl can't catch a break, huh? You're going to get all better now though? The doctor also gave her Legos, which was really cool. <laughs> Ew, did you eat it? I had you, squirrel. <laughs> but it was out of a dish. Uh, was it really? Was that clean water? Yes. Are you messing with me? I don't. I wouldn't categorize it as clean. Don't you be giving me shots. <laughs> We're back home now. Um, Tiana just gave John a shot for his leg um, of dirty dishwater. In my <laughs> he, mouth. And he drank it. <laughs> so she I said already, it's clean water. There was a national shortage on amoxicillin, so we weren't able to get her prescription oh, really? filled. Yeah, so the doctor's gonna call around and see if they can find any. Oh, poor baby girl. Um, and also, <laughs> Not again. Not again. <laughs> how are you? How's your leg? How's your medicine? <laughs> I have Dr. Kevorkian over here. <laughs> I'm doing okay, I guess. I don't really love laying here. Um, I'm getting a little bit impatient, a lot impatient. Like while y'all were gone, I had to get ready for that call. Yeah. I had to hop all the way up the stairs. <laughs> and then hop all the way back down the stairs, hop around, get my light for the call. It's just... I know a lot of people have a much worse situation than I do, so I'm trying to like not be like dramatic, mm -hmm. but I don't, I'm not having a good time laying here. It is a big life altering event for the time being. And on top of that, like I'm stuffed up. My you nose, sound really sick. Our whole house is sick. Our pets had to fall Everyone's sick. I have tonsillitis. John has like a, some kind of upper respiratory infection and Tiana has an ear infection. <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> but she, she's going to fix everybody, so don't worry. <laughs> It's day five post-op for John. How's your foot feeling, babe? Uh, so during the day, it's pretty good. But at night, I don't know if it's how I'm sleeping or whatever, but I'm waking up in a lot of pain in the middle of the night the last two nights. Mm -hmm. And last night, I was in so much pain when I got up. Like, I got nauseous. That was really crazy. Yeah. We were walking to the bathroom because I told him to wake me up if he has to go because he cannot fall on his foot. And he had to, like, sit down and was, like, sweaty and cold and nauseous. I think I think you got, like, kind of dizzy. Yeah, I don't know what it was. It, like, just came over me, though. But anyway, I had to crawl from the bathroom back to the couch. Just felt pathetic. Thanks for helping me. You're welcome, I feel babe. bad. I feel like I'm a burden on my family. No, babe. So it's, like, lunchtime now. The morning flew by because we were at the doctor's office all morning, so I'm making lunch. And then... I need to take a shower like really bad. I feel like <laughs> I feel like I just needed a shower because Tiana and I were like up all night. What's that noise? Something. She's with flushing water. toilets, running water. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we'll catch up with you guys after lunch. 
John crawled his way up the stairs because he can't sit on the couch anymore and we're about to do something exciting. It wasn't easy, but I couldn't let him do it without me. So we're gonna make some upgrades to Tiana's room today. As she gets older and bigger, we feel like we wanna keep changing this for her, keep this room interactive for her. So we got Tiana a new bed set, a mattress and a frame from Nectar because she's actually on our hand-me-down queen from like years ago and it is time for an upgrade. You ready? Yes. Okay, let's get your frame too. I think we have to do that one first. Oh, mommy, you gotta grab the other end. She's, she's using her flashlight. Oh, thank you so much. She's using her flashlight to find the rainbows on her wall. Oh, you know what? Oh, I'm too close to your foot. Look at that. I can't. I can't oh, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Look, this is why John isn't supposed to be helping. Hey. <gasps> Babe, that's not good. Okay, I think I actually need to take that mattress out, right? Yeah. Okay. I feel like this is chaotic already. Okay, we got this. I like Tiana's being a foreman right here, just sitting <laughs> in the box. Okay, ready? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what a disaster. Pillow! <laughs> Can you push it? Yeah, I push it. <laughs> I'm having more fun than you guys have. <laughs> Can you help me with this real quick? Do you know how to screw this in? Yeah. Right here, put it right in. Perfect! How's your leg? Um, I should probably not be doing this, if I'm gonna be completely honest, but I just couldn't help it. Can't watch you guys do it by yourselves. All right, here, baby, your turn. You turn it. Tiana's doing really good, though. She's building her own bed, how yeah. fun is that? We originally weren't gonna do this today because everyone's sick and John's leg is still recovering, but Tiana has been so excited to get her new bed put up since we got our package, so we decided just to go for it. Maybe this will get her to stay in her bed past one o'clock in the oh morning. Oh my gosh, maybe, <laughs> but I don't think so. <laughs> Inspector Tiana, you gonna give us a clean bill of health? Uh-oh. <laughs> Daddy's stuck! <laughs> Okay. All right. How does your accomplishment feel? I did all that with one leg and two helpers. <coughs> oh, please. We chose Nectar for our mattress for several reasons. Number one is because they are affordable, they create the highest quality mattress and bed essentials, and still have the most competitive pricing available. We also love that they use premium materials for comfort with the very best certified flexible foam to provide cushion and support, and they also have no ozone depleters, mercury, or lead. We don't have to worry about quality control. We know we're gonna get a great mattress with Nectar because they inspect every single mattress as it leaves the production line to make sure it's headed to your home ready to provide you with the sleep you've only dreamed of. We decided to go with the Nectar Premier Copper Mattress for Tiana. It's a 14 inch premium memory foam mattress and the reason we went with this one is because it has triple action cooling. Another reason we chose this one is because it has a shift resistant lower cover so there's no sagging or slip and sliding on the frame. The mattress will stay put even if she's jumping on it which she loves to jump on her bed so this is great. We want to say a huge thank you to Nectar for sponsoring this video. We truly love their products. This mattress is super comfortable, the bed frame is stable and beautiful, and Tiana is so excited to have these in her room. If you want to start prioritizing your sleep and in turn wellness today, click the link in our description below to order a mattress from Nectar. Nectar mattresses come with a 365 night home trial, a forever warranty, and free shipping in return. So what are you waiting for? If I can do it with one leg, you guys can do it. <sighs> Yeah. It's oh, that's pretty comfortable. It's not even fully expanded yet. No. I like I clean it because we daddy. You're cleaning your kitchen? Yeah. Hey daddy. We moved Tiana's kitchen from her room down to our kitchen 
because we feel like she doesn't play with it in her room and we want her to play with it a lot because she loves her kitchen. So it's gonna be staying down here for now. Why do you like that there? I would like a cupcake. A high cupcake. I would like a chai tea latte. The high me. I would like a broccoli. Oh, what do you, you have? Daddy, can you make Daddy a birthday cake? No, oh, honey. What do you have? <laughs> you, you don't have anything. I to the store. You have to go to the store? <laughs> came back. Okay. What'd you get? Cake. Yes. cake. We just had dinner, so Tiana's making us dessert. We didn't have anything really exciting for dinner. We had rice, beans, and veggies, so that's why I didn't show you guys. Just something basic and easy. Is my cake ready yet? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't think I want my birthday cake anymore. It's taking forever, and the cook keeps hissing at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making it now. Oh, okay. Tiana has been really into cooking lately. Is this weird that I'm in front of you like this? <laughs> <laughs> Tiana has been really into cooking lately, real and cooking. <laughs> so I need to show you guys this clip from the other day because she took a phone and said, I want to show everybody how to make coffee. And it's filmed for reels or like TikTok or whatever, like up and down, but it is the cutest clip. Ever. Hey, buddy, can I make my coffee? I'm very sick. Are you the first to make my coffee? For my coffee. And for Figgle? And my favorite Figgle, right? Let's see. Okay. I'm a mess. That's enough? I think that's enough. What do you think? Oh, my okay. Okay, buddy, look at my coffee. Look. I taste it. Please. Please. It's okay. We can clean it up. How's oh, my cake ready? Uh huh. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Don't you eat my cake. And <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. Is that clean water? <laughs> <laughs> Did you just burp at me? We've moved on to the next activity of the evening. Do you love slime? Yes. This was a great Christmas present because she has played with it so much. Tonight is the evening of messy activities. Are you done with slime? Yes. Thank you for cleaning up. Where are you going? Oh, my hands. Oh, it's nine o'clock. How much longer do you need before you can go upstairs and read and go to bed? 10. 10 minutes? So I read somewhere that if you give choices, like instead of saying it's bedtime in five minutes or it's bedtime in 10 minutes, you say, how much longer do you need until bedtime? And Tiana's been saying five or 10 minutes every time. Um, so it's working for now, but I'm not sure if it'll work anymore once she realizes that she can say longer than that. But tomorrow we're gonna be doing a stay home day, right? And we're gonna keep her from daycare one more day because she could go back technically tomorrow, but her ear's still kind of swollen and sore. It's not like contagious, but I just want her to rest one more day because I'm off and she wants to stay home. What? You would like your animals now? Yes. Here you go. I'm glad you're having so much fun with all your toys. We keep a bunch of toys up at the top of the closet, like special toys, so she has to ask for them to come down and she gets one at a time. And the reason for that is A, they're like messy toys, and B, I think it makes them more exciting because she kind of forgets that they're up there sometimes, right? Do you like your closet toys? We also keep all the art supplies up there, so I'll just show you really quick. We have things like games. Um, we have these new cards, which I'm going to use tomorrow for our activities. Flower building, Play-Doh, makeup, and artwork. So stuff that is really good to play with, but we don't want it out for like free reign when we're not 
supervising. We also don't want it all getting mixed up. Do you guys have a closet like that? Or a place where you keep toys like that? Anyway, while she's doing that, I'm just gonna catch up on some laundry. John's um, on the couch because his foot has really been hurting, so I gave him some ibuprofen, and he's just like relaxing. And um, we're going to kind of settle in for the night. I'm out on a solo mission. It's 10 o'clock right now. Um, our Airbnb tenants accidentally locked themselves out of the apartment. So I'm headed over there. It's not too far from our house, like less than 10 minutes. And I'm gonna let them back in. Normally, John would do this kind of stuff, but since his foot's out of commission, obviously he can't. So I'm taking on the task of landlording this two weeks. The couple actually just got to the apartment and they have been traveling all day from Tennessee. So I feel really bad that they're locked out. <laughs> and I'm glad we could get there quickly to let them back in. I made it. Now let's go let some people in and get back home. That was the easiest landlord troubleshooting we have ever had to do. Literally, I put a key in the lock, let them in, and now I'm done, headed back home. So I'm very thankful because we have run into way more crazy problems than that. I'm gonna go brag now about how I fixed the problem at the apartment. Hey guys! Landlord of the year is home! I fixed it, babe, all by myself. You did it? I did it. Good job, babe. I'm sorry. It was like the easiest fix ever. But I was telling them usually you do all that stuff with the apartments and then I had to do it. Pro tip of being a landlord, buy close to your home. If you're going to self-manage, buy close by. Because that took you what? Not even 20 minutes. Not even 20 minutes. Yeah. Thanks for handling that, babe. You're welcome, babe. Did that medicine help your pain, babe? Uh, yeah. <gasps> My baby, you're still awake? What are you doing watching Bluey and you're still awake? Wait a second, she's watching <gasps> Bluey? We need to get your jammies on, brush your teeth, get you in bed, girlfriend. What do you say? She said, uh-uh. <laughs> it is 4 p.m. the next day. We have done absolutely nothing today except rest, relax, and recover, which is just what we needed in this house. Our house is a disaster. Um, we have been sitting right there literally all day. Uh, we did some like little lessons and fun stuff with Tiana, but we did find amoxicillin. Shout out to the local pharmacy. We finally found it and it's like really hard to find apparently. So our doctor said we were lucky that we got it. So Tiana's had one dose so far, hopefully. She's on the mend soon. Um, this has been our situation basically all day. John was actually having a bit more pain today. Yes, uh, it almost got to the point where I needed to take my painkillers. I've been trying to uh, like not take those for no real reason, I guess, other than ego. <laughs> you but, haven't taken them yet. No, I've just been taking, what, ibuprofen? Yeah, and Tylenol. Ibuprofen and Tylenol. So he took ibuprofen, Tylenol, and just kind of like toughed it out. But I figured we would kind of like close the vlog now because we're to me like hanging out. I have to go back to work tomorrow. John and Tiana are gonna have to rest another day. Her ear's still pretty painful and swollen. And that's about it for now. Yeah, guys, we apologize for these vlogs where we're just sitting around lately. I feel like we're all sick and beat up and my leg's in a cast. But coming soon, we're going to get back to more travels and adventures. That's the goal. <laughs> it's famous last words. But anyways, this is like a real life vlog. I'm sure you guys you can relate. You just said relate. my famous last words like I'm dying. <laughs> no, it's because you've been saying it in every <laughs> like, vlog. Like I'm dying. <laughs> my wife thinks I'm dying, guys. It's because you've been saying it in every vlog. Uh, I guess it didn't make sense, but... I know if you have like an immune system or you're human, you know what this is like. <laughs> what are you funny. talking about? Okay, guys, um, we love you. Appreciate Did you. Just you? Ask our followers if they're human? <laughs> Thanks for watching. For, like, subscribe. For the humans and non humans alike watching our vlog. Say Thanks. bye. Bye. See you next one. What are you doing over there, babe? I can't my phone. Oh, I hear it. That's because I'm filming with your phone. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I spent a good five minutes jumping around on this couch with one knee. <laughs> I knew, I heard you just banging around over there and flopping. And I didn't know what was going on. Oh my God.